Hi friends, welcome to my channel. It's day nine of 12 days of holiday glam. I put on foundation. This is the Valentino DN2. Going to warm everything up with bronzer and everything. This is a chocolate smoky eye tutorial, but I'm giving you a full look. I'm also giving you chocolate lips as well. I feel like you all are gonna love this look. We're gonna push the envelope a little bit and make this a chocolate smoky eye tutorial 3.0. And if you're new to my channel, you can do this with me. It's step by step, it's beginner friendly. So grab out your makeup. I've got all my makeup right in front of me that's only for the smoky eye brown look, this chocolate smoky eye brown look. So this is my tray of makeup. Hey friends, so I did a few things. Um, because my battery died. With my brows, I have used two products. I've used the Oak Brown Waterproof Brow Definer from Chantecaille, and I use the Dior Brow Show in 002. This is like one of my favorite go-to colors for cleaning up my brows. Didn't give me the yellow that I wanted. You all know I'm still on the hunt other than the Fenty 345. So if you know of a really great yellow, leave it down below. Um, this is the Chanel 91. That's what I use to clean up my brows and to put concealer on. And for contour, because I want to use this product up, I'm going in with the Fenty right here into my jawline and underneath. And again, contour sharpens everything up. But I want to show you all, even with this eye tutorial, I'm taking this contour on my lids. So let me blend this out really fast because this, you all, let me tell you about this contour. This dries down super fast. It gives me the shadows. It's a beautiful brown shade. That is not what I would change about this. This is perfect. But I would change the fact that this dries down super fast. And like my, unlike my Tom Ford, this does not give me the grace of, you know, letting it dry down a little bit before I blend. This actually will dry down on me. Just going in with my Fenty Beauty, we are going to lay this on the lids. I want to use a brush because I want more control. So this is only creating the base before I use my brown shade. So I know you haven't seen this before, but contour is really great on the eyes too. We're going to use my Gucci bronzer. I'm using this bronzer in my transition area because ooh, it's giving me the right hue of brown. Just right on top, it's going to give me a lighter brown shade. It's already looking really beautiful, right? Look at that. Do the same on the next side. Tap this in um, and then blend it. I'm not touching the ferrule because when you want the least amount of control and you just want to buff then you you hold your brush out a little bit further when you want more control you hold it closer so that's for anyone who wants to know that um that's what you want to do now i'm going to go in with my modern renaissance palette this from abh is my favorite i gave one to my mom and then i bought me another one so i'm going to go in with this dark brown shade on the very end and using this flat paddle like brush, ugh, using this flat paddle brush like what I used on my lid with the espresso, I'm just going to grab out that brown shade. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because, y'all, this has so much fallout. I'd rather use something that was creamy on the brush to help these pigments to, to have something to stick to, almost like when you have a warm finger. And your, you know, when you use your fingers, it's warm. And so it can pick up the product and you don't get as much fallout. So that's the reason why I went after this paddle brush is because it already has the contour on it. So that's going to help a lot of the shadow not to fall on my face. <laughs> but as you can see, it's deepened up the contour considerably. And I'm just tapping this on when you want more product on the eye, you use the tapping motion. Um, I'm trying to use the mirror here. This is a beautiful 
chocolate shade. Now I'm right now just concentrating on packing on product, but I will blend this out so it's seamless and it's beautiful. I'm also taking this underneath the eye as well, just stamping a little bit so you can see that chocolate shade is even becoming more pronounced I'm, uh, using this now i haven't put on setting powder or anything because if there is fallout you don't want that all over your face and with a concealer the concealer can conceal anything that you wipe away that's gorgeous i'm going to go in with my scott barnes tried and true number 62 i'm not using any other product um i'm just going to i'm just going to clean up around so that's giving me a smoky beautiful look taking this one step further we're going in with the Chantecai giraffe this is a beautiful brown shade and it has shimmer to it and again it's the holidays so shimmer is in i'm going to use my fingers here and just grab up some of this product and lay it right on top of my lids here so right on top of that shot oh this is what i'm talking what I'm talking about. We haven't even used our black to smoky this a little bit yet. We've just done a lot of brown shades and then we're gonna go on top of, just make sure that you're gonna blend this out so that you don't have it looking messy when you close your eyes down. We've done that. I'm gonna contour my nose a little bit just using a flat brush, something generic and just taking this down my nose just to bring in some shadows here i haven't used setting powder i haven't used face powder yet um again i like to let things set for a little bit before i start using it and i'm taking a little bit of this contour into just into my um, transition area just a little bit I'm not going to use this lipstick because it's too light. It's not given the chocolate brown that I want, but I want to show you this color because I promised you guys I would. This is the Merit Cosmetics in, uh, what's the color? It's called Slick. And I just want to try it on so you all can, ooh. So this is my first time trying this on. That's gorgeous. Wow. That's pretty. That is pretty. Okay, so that slipped from Merit Cosmetics. <laughs> so going into lips, we're gonna contour my lips using Fenty again. I've showed this in a previous video and we're gonna overline. Using the Scott Barnes number 60 brush, going underneath my lips and going above it and doing a rounded out look at the top. So I watched Scott do this on Tati. <laughs> it does look a little crazy and it does make your lips look bigger. Beautiful hack if you want to get fuller lips. Now this looks crazy. I wouldn't tell you all to, to do your lips bigger if you don't want to. And I'm just going to blend that in a little bit because I did watch Scott do that. He just blended it in a little bit. Listen, if you've ever done makeup tutorials, you know it gets really crazy, really quick with makeup all around you. So this is Chestnut. It is that brown that I want. And I'm just going to go... Oh, so Oh, it's so good. I'm trying to see the mirror here. Okay, let's clean that up just a little bit. Oh my goodness, you all. I am in love with this chocolate brown look. Let me know what you all think. 
I, I am definitely here for it. It is gorgeous. My lips look super duper full and I'm not mad at it, honestly, because I want fuller lips. I just don't want to look like a duck, like how a lot of those women look, but mm, this is good. This is really, really good. I really like it. Girl, get back on track, regain your focus and give the rest of this year everything you have got.